Stu's Double Jeopardy is a computerized version of the popular TV game show and I'm going to attempt to demonstrate this program in under four minutes for you so you can get a good idea uh, hopefully without you falling asleep. Let's have a look at what it looks like firstly. This is the um, starting screen and at, in this screen you can choose whether you want to play a full game of 30 questions plus final Jeopardy or whether you want to play only 20 questions or even a quickie at only 10 questions. Let's have a go at the full game just to see what it all looks like. You can also choose whether you want to have negative scores or only uh, allow scores to be positive. From there you can have up to six teams playing so in a classroom situation or in a conference situation you can break the room up into teams and they can then uh, have their own scoreboards. Once you've selected how many players you want we can open up a quiz so here is the geography quiz we're having a look at and uh, this skin that we're looking at here is one called Sydney so there's a picture behind it that you reveal as you uncover the playing board. Across the top here in this geography quiz we've got capital cities, mountains of the world, I still call Australia home, great waterways, what country am I and remarkable landmarks and as I point to those you can see that it enlarges it for you so for the audience who are sitting a bit further away from the projector they'll be able to see the categories quite easily. Okay let's have a look what country am I for four hundred dollars for example. My flag is a large red spot on a white background and I'm a major producer of motor cars and electronics. Team two are the ones that put their hand up first. I called out team two. They said Japan. They got it right, $400. And return to the board and they get to then choose what the next one is. Remarkable landmarks for $400. And there's a question there. Team four said the Statue of Liberty. They get that wrong and their score stays at zero or it would have gone back to negative 400 if uh, we allowed negative scores. Team three got the answer right. Pyramids at Giza and so on. Here's a daily double. Daily double is the same as the game show itself where team three who were the last people to get a question right uh, have four hundred dollars and they can wager an amount on the following question. So they can wager if they want to anywhere up to a thousand dollars. We'll go six hundred dollars in this question. What's the name of the world's lo longest mountain range can be found in South America? Team three is the only one allowed to answer and they get Andy's right and get their six hundred dollars. Okay so you get an idea of how the game is played. Up here we've got the Jeopardy question editor and this is where you can actually create the question files or the quizzes that you want to play. The students can create these, the teachers can create these uh, and they can be shared. Uh, you can even share them across the world through the Jeopardy website. So we can make a new quiz, we can look at the categories, so these are the titles of the categories and these are the questions in each of the categories. So category 2, 3, 4 and so on. There's also a final Jeopardy uh, where there's a specific question that needs to be answered there. If you look here on the right hand side uh, you can actually attach images and audio to each of the questions. So let's have a look at what that looks like. If we jump to the question file and go to quizzes we can have a look at the pop culture quiz for example and in here we can jump it to, it's just loading up okay the gadget generation and there's a picture there there's the question on the right okay album covers without titles again a picture with the question at the right or in the case of name that movie we've actually got a picture taking up the whole of the question panel and there is no question there apart from the category that says name that movie and of course that's I am legend team 3 got that right okay last thing I'll show you here quickly is the skins you'll notice we had the Sydney skin uh, we can jump in and we can change it to the Harry Potter skin we can go back to the original skin and we can go to porcupine tree skin this is my favorite band. thought you'd like to see what that one looks like. And uh, you can actually create your own skins for the game. It's all very easy to do. That's the Jeopardy game. So let's just quit that and we'll take a look at the Jeopardy website, uh, which has a whole lot of things. You can download the quizzes. You can download skins. You can upload quizzes to the site and share them with the rest of the world as well. So there's a lot of um, people from around the world visiting the site. Finally, where do you get it? Get your free copy from there. 
and there's some legal information that I have to pass on as well. Hope you enjoyed that.